this demo I'm going to show you how to use the Spine System as video server. Now the video server is based on VLC code, so we've just implemented and made it, uh, put it into our GUI to make it easier for you to use the Spine Test Center as kind of like your one-stop shop. So it'll all serve as well as um, score video. So uh, we're going to put it on device number two here, on port number two. Uh, first thing we'll do is enable our video technology. That will be under uh, application air protocol video. Okay. We'll add a host there. In this case, I've configured the DUT to have an IP address on, uh, IP address on the interface of 193.85.1.1. And we'll call this the video server. So we'll go ahead and activate the server. And then what you want to do next is manage your video clips. So you, you need to have some video clips on the port. So here we have slot 12. And you can see here that it already has, when you select this slot, it'll show up whatever video clips are already on there. If you need to add clips, then you can just go ahead and browse through some video clips, select one, click on upload, and it will upload to that slot. And those video clips are available to any of the ports on that slot. Okay, so we have here two video clips, uh, CBR H.264, constant bit rate encoded at 1 megabit per second, and then we have an MPEG-2 uh, variable bit rate encoded at 14 megabits per second. Okay, so those are two video clips that we can choose from. I'm just going to I'm just going to use one of them, uh, probably this MPEG two. Okay, so now that that is um, configured there, we'll select the file list. So again, here's the two um, clips that was available. We'll use this Fox, and I forget what the name was, but this was a 14 megabit MPEG two. Now, if you select both of them, you could select both of them. What it'll do is it'll go from one, it'll stream one video clip first. When it's done with that, then it'll stream the next one. Okay? So, in this case, we'll just stream one clip and just keep repeating that clip over and over and over again. Okay, we'll use a default server profile. And next thing we'll do is we will have to create a video stream. So, we'll go to Edit, Server Stream. We'll add that. And what this does is give you the opportunity to target this uh, stream to a certain IP address. In this case, we'll use multicast. So you could, that could be a unicast or a multicast. Right, so we'll just do 225.0.0.1 IP version 4. We'll use a destination UDP port number of 550,050. Right, well, and we'll use RTP as a transport. Go ahead and close. And basically that's it. Now when you start this, that's all you have to do. If you look at our layer one bitrate, you can see that we're starting to stream that video. And if you look at these rates here, you can see it is about you know, somewhere in the 15 megabit per second range. Again, it's a variable bit rate. So to configure the video server is very, very simple. And this will just continue to serve video um, as long as you have this um, started. Okay, once you click on stop, it will stop the video. And there you can see that happening there. Okay, so that's a very simple demo of how to build the video server. Again, all you do is first enable the technology under application layer protocols, build a host block or device block, go to the video tab, activate the server, make sure you have video clips on the slot, you can upload new ones or de delete old ones, uh, basically there's a 128 megabit or megabyte uh, limit on the slot or actually
Yeah, I misspoke there. And then so what you do next is you select your clip from the file list and then you add a server stream. And this is where you specify where we're going to stream, what IP address will be the destination IP address that we're streaming it to, what destination EDP port number we're using, as well as the transport encapsulation, whether we're using just EDP or RTP. And then we can uh, go ahead and loop that video over and over and over again. Okay, and then you just start and stop the video server. That's pretty simple. Alright, so I hope that helps. Thanks.